Hi guys, I'm Johnny Chivers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a data engineer with over 10 years experience working Monday to Friday in the financial services sector. I'm five times AWS certified. I like nothing more in my free time than making videos for this YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at Cloud9 and do a beginner's introduction to it. Firstly, what is Cloud9? Cloud9 is the IDE, that's an integrated development environment brought to us by AWS. It's web-based and available to all console users. It allows us to write, run, and debug code in over 40 different languages directly into the AWS console without having to worry about configuring local environments. Okay, but why use AWS Cloud9? So that's a great question. There's lots of different IDEs out there, and it's a very sensitive subject among developers, what kind of development environment I use. I have my own favorites locally. I use a lot of VS code. I think it's a fantastic lightweight. I also like the IntelliJ kind of products. So um, PyCharm is a pretty good one for Python. But sometimes, or what I find, especially if I'm hopping around laptops, configuring them locally to integrate remotely with AWS can be a bit of a pain. So where I see mostly Cloud9 fitting in is when I want a direct integration with AWS that's easy to configure. I've already used it in this channel quite a lot, um, especially when we're looking at using the CLI tools. So Cloud9 comes with the CLI tools already integrated, which kind of takes out that hassle of setting up your kind of private key, public key, and your entire kind of local system to integrate with AWS. So that's really where I see the benefit of Cloud9, first of all. It's just that straight integration in the AWS and makes that whole life cycle simple, especially if you're learning. The other side of Cloud9 that I really like is that it's just available on the go. So anywhere in the world, if I'm on my iPad or I'm on my Mac or I'm on a Windows PC, I can just log in, I can pull in my code from GitHub or wherever it may be, and then it's just available to code straight in the AWS. So it kind of like makes on the go development a lot easier. And then also if you're working as teams remotely, it really adds that kind of integration point for you all. We have a commonality of where you're trying to code. And then finally, the one thing I think it's fantastic for is using or building AWS Lambdas. Personally, I find sometimes Lambda building locally and deploying remotely just a bit of a pain, especially if you need to do any kind of install of libraries. So I do a lot of Python development with my Lambdas and I find having them on the pip installs a real pain. So you can't actually run a pip install or install a library locally on the likes of a Mac and then deploy that up into AWS. Those installs have to be done on an AWS uh, AMI instance of Amazon on Linux. So it usually means you have to take all your code up onto an EC2 that's running an Amazon AMI and then package your deployment there and then send it onwards. Cloud9 removes this. So you don't have to do any of that because you're already running on a Linux server. You just package it inside the directory that you're working. And then there's actually an integration wizard almost that lets you just deploy a Lambda straight out in the AWS. I'll actually show you how to do that in this tutorial at the end of this video of how to build a Lambda in Cloud9 and then deploy it without actually having to go near the Lambda console. When use Cloud9, well, we've already kind of hinted upon it. I, I use it on the go. I think having all your code up there and you just want to get on with it when you're around the world or using different operating systems, that's the first kind of use case. The second use case that I really like it for is that Lambda integration. Just removes all the overhead of trying to develop it locally or use the or use the SAM templates and then put it up. Just Cloud9, automatic deployment, everything's integrated simplify the process, lower the barrier to entry. And I, I think importantly as well, it's it's rich enough to use as your everyday IDE. You know, that it's not really missing any features that you're gonna find annoying when you're up there. Because you gain so much in terms of the CLI tools and the Lambda integration and the ability to spin it up anywhere, because it's just running on an EC2 instance under the hood. Anything you lose from your normal IDE is made up in abundance. So as usual on these videos, the best way is by doing, so let's just jump onto the console, that's spin up a Cloud9 environment and that's deploy Lambda function. Okay, that's been logged into AWS. The first thing we're gonna do is go to Cloud9. So we type in Cloud9 at the top and we click on it. As this is the first time we've been in the environment, we have create environment here. Alternatively, you have your environments over here. I'm going to click create environment and we're gonna give the environment a name. We're gonna call this test dev one. We wanna create a new EC2 instance. We'll keep it on the free tier. So this won't cost us a penny and we want it to stop after 30 minutes. Next step, everything's fine. Let's create the environment. 
This will take about a minute. So I'm going to pause the video here and then we can pick it up once it's ready to go. Okay, that's it ready to go. As you can see, you have console down the bottom. You have some configuration of settings here if you want to change, but I'm happy with default. On the right hand side, we have a chat window and a debug window. Um, not that I use these a lot because there's just me. Then on the left hand side, we have a file explorer. We have a source code and we have this AWS logo button. So first thing we'll just take a quick look at is the file explorer. This is the file explorer. As you can see, we're in an EC2 directory there. You can create a file by simply right hand clicking new folder and then we can call the folder test and then right hand click new file and then you can write test.py and you have a test python file double click it and then you could write something like print uh, hello world okay and then control s or command s if you're on mac to save as i mentioned earlier the most interesting thing to do is to create lambdas directly from the ide using sam templates so if we click on this aws button here and we go to the drop down and we go to Lambda, you can see that there are other services that you can interact with. And we say create new Lambda SAM application, right hand click and hit enter. You get to select your runtime. So I'm gonna go Python 3.7, AWS SAM. We'll just put it in the project we have. We wanna call this test Lambda SAM. We'll hit enter. And you can see that we successfully deployed the Lambda. So if I just minimize all this kind of um, information, we go back into the file, we go into test Lambda SAM, and we go to hello world. You can see that there's an app.py file, and in there is our hello world application. Okay, perfect. Now I want to deploy this Lambda. So back onto AWS, back into Lambda, right hand click, deploy SAM application. Select the SAM application you want to deploy, so click on it. You need an S3 bucket to deploy into, so I'm just gonna create one called Johnny Shivers hyphen test, delete, so I remember to delete. And then enter a name for the stack, so I'm just gonna call this test lambda. That'll do nicely. Hit enter, and as you can see, off down the bottom, we're running. I'll pause the video here. This takes about two minutes, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, that was successfully deployed. If we go into the management console again, and we go to lambda this time by typing in lambda, and we click on it. We should have that one function. So as you can see, my function is now deployed. If I click on the function and I go to code, and we run a test, and we click test, test, create, and then we test, you can see the hello world has appeared. And that's coming from that app.py file that we just uploaded. Now, as I said, that's a very brief introduction to the power of Cloud9. I think the Lambda feature is excellent and really saves hassle, especially when we're on the go and we just need somewhere to log into and get work done. Other benefits is obviously that it's console based, so you don't actually have to be on your own laptop to get your code. And that means you can do development 24 seven, no matter what kind of interface you're coming in from. So I've been Johnny Chivers. I'll make all this information available for free on my website, www.johnnychevers.co.uk. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.